Welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Origins. I've just found the this uh, line launcher lying here on the table, which I like, because it's one of the gadgets from the chronologically later games, and he apparently hasn't finished it yet. I guess it means I won't be swooping around on horizontal planes. I really wanted to jump off there. Woo! Oh. I can't be with my people. You don't have to... He's either Batman or my cat. Actually, where was that? Uh, I, like, put a waypoint on this. Oh, hey. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Thank you, Alfred. First, I want to take a look at that console over there. Like what? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. I also got some, uh... I also got that DLC pack that came with the Humble WB bundle a while back. Like it's Night Batman. Cool, cool. Red Sun Batman. I like that. Alright. I'm not familiar with Batman, Noel. Hahaha! <laughs> The uh, PS3 has an exclusive suit where... Wait, I can just wear the, the, the DLC things in the... No, no, no. Uh, New Game Plus. Right. Okay. It's just weird that they have a thing right there for that if you can't do it in the main campaign. Aw, the car is in the shop. Ah, talk to this thing, maybe. Oh yes, and because I actually did pre-order the game, even though I've been sitting on it since October, I uh, have the ability to play in challenge rooms as Deathstroke. But, uh, let's give this a try first. This is literally a way of just accessing the, uh... I don't have any of these unlocked, except, uh... Not sure where these came from. Let's not look at that yet. But how do I... Dark Knight system. Oh, okay. God damn. Okay, starting things off easy. I can do that. Perform five counters. I wonder if this means I can't... Uh, if I use the quick fire battering three times before I do five counters, I don't get the points for it. You know, because... Rank 1, rank 2. I don't know. And let's just fill the database. Okay. Well then. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different la, areas la, of the la, city. La, 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 One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Got it. 
flashier entrance than perhaps is strictly necessary. shot and probably the hostage too but they won't expect an attack from above nobody ever does Flexing out there with you Are you crazy we were answering the service call that's it you better not be lying Show I prefer yourself. to do it while hanging it just looks better that way who's out there me ah! Who's ah! I quit Why'd I look over there when I did that? And down you go. I can sneak up on a hostage taker by crawling through the vent. Wait a minute, GC Gotham City Gotham City Radio Tower. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot I forgot all about that. This is uh Let's zoom out. Yeah, yeah, the Bowery Amusement Mile. This is a uh, part of the map is uh, supposed to be. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? Part of the map is supposed to be the area covered by the uh, Arkham City map, except that you know, it is, it's not currently a city people are living in instead of a giant prison. So I'm looking forward to seeing that almost as much as I'm looking forward to seeing the areas I've never been before. I just fly it back to Blackgate. Alright. No, can't talk to that guy. Fine, whatever. I can crawl in that vent to sneak up on the hostage taker. The hostage taker will see me unless I sneak up behind him. That vent will give me the element of surprise. Oh my god, I get it. Oh, hey. You're unconscious now! Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower, in and out! Where are you going? Where you going? Whoever you are, come near me and I'll kill this guy! I ain't playing! You tell him. Damn it. Oh. Yoink. Sleep tight. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. Nasty. That's a lot of cigarettes. 
This coffee machine hasn't worked in decades. It's just a tiny little insignificant thing, but I really like the way the health bar looks, all holographic and glowy like that. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. What? I should start by identifying the victim. Okay. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Whoa! This is new. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. Interesting. I hacked so many of these in the last game, it's not even funny. Looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. Interesting. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Uh, oh! Oh, wow. You can move around while I do that, too. Dun, dun, dun. Nah, I'm not gonna do that after all. Okay, so he scans the card. He blows up. Oops, sorry. I need to stand back. the wall. No, I don't see a red trail at all. Oh yeah, I can see the real world, so that guy is still down. <sighs> oh, it's a new mechanic and I feel like I'm failing because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh. There you are, my little friend. That was cool. Municipal this security codes. The codes I need to hack any of the network towers access panels. Pretty. All right, let's see. Yeah, the idea is you point it in a direction until it starts vibrating and then you hold it there and you get half the password and then you do the same thing on the other side. Unfortunate. My line. I like that. He can climb from the back of the ladder.
frame rate dips a little bit whenever it's first loading Alfred, into an area. But... Contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Oh, frame rate's really fluctuating wherever we are right now. <laughs> well, this is obviously a trap. Developed by Wayne Tech, these security panels are used throughout Gotham to protect municipal buildings. Let's just stand way back here. Oh, right, and upgrade it to have better reach first. Great. Well, well, if it isn't the King's thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Okay, not the Riddler. Let's see what we have uh, in here. No fly zone. Hmm. Black mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Destroy all network relays to access Enigma's server. Find all Enigma data packs to unlock Enigma's secret room. Extortion files. Oop. Well, let's see. Let's set the nearest one as my next objective. Uh, which one is it? Why are they listed in random order? Okay, it's the last one, but whatever. Actually, where am I? Is that where I am? No, seriously, I don't see me anywhere. Oh, no, this might not actually be a, uh... Place I've been... That's a really bad spot for that hit tip to uh, show up. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. <laughs> Is this a door? It is a door! Freedom! Well, let's take a look. Whoa. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Enigma! Incredible intellect, and also highly insecure. Compulsive need to prove his superiority, master hacker. Enigma seems able to defeat almost all forms of network security. Batman's own network is under threat of attack, and steps must be taken to ensure no further incursions. If he was able to access the Bat computer, there's no telling how much damage he could do. Fortunately, his insecurities cause him to act out. Act out. The more he draws attention to himself, the easier it becomes to track down and take out. Oh wow. Shit! Tell you what, the timer is about to run out, so I'm just gonna, uh, read out the, all of these before we, uh, call it a video, since I don't want to open one with just reading again. Are these all the profiles in the game? Shit. I'm really leaning really heavily on these guys. Killer Croc. Real name, Waylon Jones. He's not an assassin, by the way. He's a serial killer. I'm not sure what he was doing on that screen. Instinctual hunter with heightened senses. Dynamic physiology. Appearance continually changes. 
Medical records, Glass Jones is suffering from a rare form of epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. Was, uh, got through that easy enough. It normally causes the skin to scale, but there's more to Jones than that. It's true that his skin has grown dense enough to repel gunfire, but that doesn't explain the rest of the changes. His size, sense of smell, unexplained dental eruptions, and warped digits. The degree to which he has been effective is remarkable, and suggests that this may actually be a form of atavism that simply resembles hyperkeratosis. It may also be the result of intentional genetic manipulation. Further study is required. Regardless of their origin, his strength and ferocity make him an immense physical threat. I seem to remember reading that at one point in the comic books, he regressed all the way into being an ordinary uh, crocodile and went to live in Swamp Thing's uh, swamp. I know. Let's just kind of pretend that didn't happen. Bane! I like the jacket. Unknown fugitive, based in South America. Seven feet five inches tall. Supreme strength and agility combined with the mind of a master tactician. Seems de dependent on a substance delivery system. Possible weakness. No cables in the back of his head in this time, though. Bane is a fugitive wanted by the government of Santa Prisca following a prison break from Pena Duro. For all no records have been found to substantiate this, rumors allege Bane was born and raised within the prison walls, a seemingly impossible feat in the all-male penitentiary. Bane is believed to be traveling with a large group of his fellow escapees, most notable as his chief subordinate, Bird. Bane is rumored to have superhuman size and strength. Most believe this to be a result of his abuse of popular uh, performance-enhancing drugs, including the popular narcotic, Venom. Combined with a keen mind, this makes Bane an extreme threat. Copperhead. Tattooing suggests Central American gang membership. Master escape artist. Abnormal physiology allows for unnatural contortions. Maybe one of a larger group operating under the same name. Records indicate Copperhead is an alias used by Hitman, use Hitman <laughs> working for Central and South American drug cartels. But this Copperhead is clearly female. No shit. This could indicate that the name Copperhead is actually a title or label for an underworld organization. Either way, Copperhead seems capable of escaping nearly all forms of confinement. Kill techniques range from strangulation and crushed bones to acute toxicity resulting in death. Deadshot Master Marksman. Former military, specific background redacted. Reckless attitude suggests mental instability. Among the best sharpshooters in the world. I understand that the only time he's ever missed is when a suit is when Batman has been involved. Lawton was a lethal mil military sniper with a long list of assassinations, but according to his records, he often takes unnecessary risks or makes his plans unnecessarily complex. Perhaps this is why he was discharged from service and took up mercenary work. Though his military record is mostly redacted, his psychological profile suggests he harbors deep feelings of guilt regarding his accidental murder of his own brother. Oh, jeez. Deathstroke the Terminator I actually remember reading that uh, when he was first introduced, people more referred to him as the Terminator more often than not. And then the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie came out. And they kind of played that down. Slade Wilson. Medically enhanced uh, physical and mental abilities. Master of multiple combat techniques. Strategic mind. Missing his right eye. Wilson was an accomplished member of the Special Forces. This distinction earned him admittance into a covert program where he was subjected to extensive mental and physical augmentation. The procedures left him with, enhanced, with increased mental function, as well as enhanced speed, strength, and stamina. Though much of the, fi well, much of the file is redacted, God. Uh, it appears that Slade is eventually discharged from the military. Though the exact circumstances are not specified, he has since taken up work as a mercenary. His augmentations, coupled with his mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat, make him a formidable opponent. Well, perhaps one of the most dangerous Batman has ever, or will ever, face. The Electrocutioner. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this guy. Lester Pachinsky, pit fighter in Gotham City. What if they made him up for the game? Street tough had to make a name for himself. Has surprising skill in, in electrical engineering. Big mouth. More bronze than brains is the initial assessment of Pachinsky. He has been able to create some kind of custom-made weaponized gloves that pack a powerful electrical discharge. Their craftsmanship suggests that there is more going on between his ears than the sound of his own boasting. 
though he may have had, he may have had help constructing them, perhaps even had them made by someone else. His arrogance and overconfidence are his weakness. Oh, uh, the back of the box mentions a new gadget called the shock gloves. I better take them from him. Firefly. Garfield Lins, pyrotechnics expert. No hair was brown. Obsessive compulsive pyromaniac. Multiple instances of severe burns all over his body. Utilizes custom made flamethrower, jetpack, and incendiary grenades. Lins has specialized knowledge of incendiary devices. It often gets burned with the fires he's creating. What little is in his medical record suggests he does not seek treatment for the pain. It seems to invoke a pleasure response in him. Oh, good! One of those guys! This is a dangerous combination. His obsession with fire is driving him to take ever larger risks, and if he is not stopped, he's going to destroy himself and potentially much of the city with him. Lady Shiva. As I understand it, uh, the title of best martial artist in the DC Universe is generally regarded as uh, fluctuating between Batman and Shiva. I, pretty, I thought her name was Shiva, actually. Works for the League of Assassins. Martial Arts Grandmaster. Unmatched skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Police records are thin, but indications are that Shiva is a highly trained and extremely dangerous assassin. Rumor is that she selects many of her targets simply to test her skills. There are no known survivors in these encounters. The threat she represents cannot be underestimated. What a motley bunch. I kind of wish that they had not just unlocked these all at once. And I also kind of wish that I hadn't uh, defeated one of these so-called assassins before I even, you know, got the pitch cutscene about them. But whatever. Say la vie. I'm Burning Dogface, and this has been Let's Play Batman Arkham Origins. I'll see you next time. We look for some crime tonight. Later!